G'day guys, welcome back. Now this is just going to be a little short and quickie. Now that's the painting I did the other day, well actually this morning, not the other day. Um, and I was just, I put up a little questionnaire about what I should do with it, leave it, balloon dip, marble it. Most of you said leave it, but oh, look, I'm, I've done so many acrylic pours, just flip and drags and just left them off. I really want to do something a little bit different, putting my gloves on. Hello. <laughs> So, I did one little balloon dip there, just to see if my paint was ready. Uh, so, it's been um, uh, about three hours, oh, ten, two and a half hours, I think it's been. I'm just gonna, I brought you down here next to me so that you can just see a little, a little bit closer in on the action. I'm just going to wipe that. I've got a piece of paper towel down here, but I've, I've sort of zoomed you in a little bit so that you can see. So I'm just going to go crazy and do lots of little balloon dips and see see what happens. Um, if your paint kind of runs back into the center and doesn't hold its shape, you either need to wait a bit longer, like another couple of hours, or if you're in a, impatient like me, just dip again um, and just kind of reduce the amount of paint that's on the surface until you get your paint not flowing back down again and making a puddle. So, sort of what I look for is maybe pick um, a cell that you don't particularly like, you're not happy with, like this blobby one back here. So I'm just going to kind of dip into the middle of him, but you can see my paint's still really quite thick. So there he's, he's gone now, <laughs> and we've got a, a pretty little flower. So I'll try and be, I'll try and be quick. Now that one's kind of hasn't really done much. I'm going to incorporate what can I point with? I'm going to incorporate this cell here because there's not much there. So I'm just going to push a little bit harder and incorporate that cell. And now we've got a petal. So dip in to the center of a few cells um, and then they'll all get sort of pulled in from the outside and you'll you'll get your little petal. So just dip into a, a cell that you don't particularly like. Now see that one hasn't got anything on the other side so I need to go a little bit harder and incorporate some of the cells around it. That's better. So now we've got petals all the way around. So I'm just going to, actually I'll put this over here, try and go a little bit faster. <clears throat> There's a caterpillar just here. So we'll go into the middle of that one. So basically this is just going to be a video on balloon dipping. So if you're not interested, you don't have to watch. But I just thought, I'm going to do it. I might as well show you how it's turning out. I'm just going to go into it two or three times. Paint's still quite thick. I might have to either wait or go back in a little while later. You need lots of paper towel to dry your balloon on each time. You don't want to put extra paint back on the surface. You want to actually get your paint off the surface. I'm going to have to get another piece of paper towel. Hang on. We use quite a lot of paper towel. Okay, here we go. Now, see that one's quite wonky. I don't know if you can see from there, but it's still quite a wonky flower. So it's still got too much paint there. So I like using a water balloon because it's heavier and basically just press straight down and then slowly bring back up again. Just got some more paper towel. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So yeah, like I said, you might have to just push into a, an area a few times. Oh, where else will we go? How about over here? Because there's a bit of a cluster just there. And depending on how big you want your flower, if 
you press harder, it'll spread out more and incorporate more cells around it. So you'll get a bigger flower. But you might have to, like I said, go over quite a few times if your paint is still, that one slipped, <laughs> if your paint's still really thick. Try and go straight up. <laughs> or you could just be patient and wait another few hours until your paint starts thickening up. All right, little one here. It's easier to do on the edges where your paint's not as thick, like the paint tends to pull in the centre. So it tends to be thicker there. I'm getting all slippery now with the balloon. I'm going to just hold it here rather than the actual top just so that I can get a better grip on it. Oh, that's a pretty one. Look at that. I don't like you over there. You can go. So I hope you don't mind me just doing a video on balloon dipping. And incorporate that one as well to get another little petal over there. Okay, now I might just go around the other side. So go around the other side so I'm not leaning across you. And come up here and do some over here. Okay, that one's not looking wonderful. I'll need to push down a little bit harder and make it a bit bigger. That's better. Get a few more cells into it. There's a little caterpillar there. Hope you can see okay from where you are. I just thought you might see better if you were down there next to me rather than up the top. But I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Oh, look at that one. That one's really pretty. So pretty. Like I said, I want to do quite a lot. Actually, oh, I don't really like that spot. Let's do that one. Push a bit. Harder. I've got so much paint left on this canvas, you guys. <laughs> you really should have waited a bit longer. And I need more, more paper towel. We use such a lot. Okay. It's a really pretty one up there. I like that one. Don't really like you very much. Let's go again with you. And where else? Over here, we haven't done much in this corner, have we? There's a bit of a caterpillar there. So I pushed a bit harder to try and get those outside ones there. Let's go in the centre there. Ooh, need more paper towel. Gosh, you go through it. A bit of paper towel. So my little puppy's gone. She got picked up, um, like I said, at 11 o'clock. So her new owners are very happy with her. She's a gorgeous little girl. I'm going to miss her. But there's such a lot of work, <laughs> especially the little tiny ones. You've got to be so careful with them, you know. Now this block of purple here, I kind of need to break that up. I don't like how it's got that point there, that purple point. Let's break that up a little bit. Yeah, so she's she's a very cute little baby, and I'm sure she'll be very loved and very well looked after. Oops, that one slipped. Did you see how that slipped? I'll try and push straight down, straight up. Because if it slips, then you have a bit of a weird shape. Okay, let's go into some of this yellow here. Yep, got that little purple cell there. I was trying to get that little purple one on the end there. Got him. I 
I might have to go over all of them actually and just push a little, oh, that one slipped, push a little bit harder. Just as they're starting to dry a little bit. Okay. Oh, I need more paper towel. You guys bored yet? Hey? <laughs> Sorry. I just thought, like, if I put the photo up and everyone goes, oh, I wanted to see you do it. So I thought I better, better get the video out and show you. Hey. Now this one, I'm not real keen on that one, so let's go again on that one. Most of them are holding their shape. As I said, if they're not holding their shape, if they're going all wiggly, just go again. Go as many times as you want within reason. If you start taking too much paint off, um, you're going to be able to see the canvas through the <laughs> through your paint. So if you start seeing the canvas through the paint, you've gone too far and you'll need to stop. Whoops, I slipped. I slipped. Slipped again. Oh gosh. I'm going to see the canvas through this one. I want to get that cell there if I can. No, I won't be able to. There we go. I'll have to leave that. I'm starting to see the canvas through there. Oh, let's do this one. Like I said, I want to do lots. Like if you're going to do it, do it. Hey, just do it. If you're going to do like little fairy kisses. And they're little ones like this. I think they look like little fairy kisses. Balloon dips. Where else can we go? Whoops, there's no cells on that one. <laughs> I'll have to go a little bit higher to incorporate that those little greenish cells there. Um, I like those cells. We'll leave those. I'll go around this side again. Where can we go? Up here maybe? Just there? And then here, oh, there's not much there. There's not much cells. If there's not many cells, you're not going to get the petals. So. Go into you again. Look how thick that paint is still there. All right. Oh, I need some more paper towel. Should have just torn lots up before I started. Hey, I was in two minds about even videoing it though, you know. So, all right, how are we looking? How are we cooking? Good looking in there. I have to go across to the left a little bit just to pull those cells in. I don't know that there's a lot more I can do, really. What do you think? Oh, I don't like you. Let's push on you a little bit more. I really don't like you. I'm not quite sure what I could... Whoops, we slipped again. Oh, gosh. Two hands. That's better. <laughs> now I've pulled that one in. Sometimes you have to do two hands just to support yourself. <laughs> Steady your hands so that it doesn't slip. And just remember to wipe your balloon off each time. Okay, where else needs a little bit more, I think they're looking really good. There. A little bit there. Just do a little one there. Oops, let's get that pink one as well because he's a bit oddly shaped. So we'll grab him as well. Take a little bit more paint off. Let's see if we can get that pink one on the left there. Incorporate that. Got him. 
now it's got to get a little bit more paint off okay I think that will be it you guys what do you think oh it's so pretty look like little fireflies don't they all right I'm gonna take you down let's have a little look oops screech 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 I'm doing my little screw thing there all right let's have a look so when you do your balloon dips your little fairy kisses um, you're bringing up colors from underneath so you do get a really wide range of colors as well plus you get your cell see that was that cell there it had the lime it had the yellow it had the pink it had the purple and then when you pull in from the upside in you're getting that long petal with all those colors in it and then you get the blending as well see on the left or it's at the top there actually there was no real cell there so it's just kind of a bit of a starburst I call that just pan all the way look at the colors in these aren't they just amazing with the lime popping through And over here into that pink and yellow, which has made a gorgeous orange. Look at that. So hopefully you guys like what I've done to this painting. If not, I'm sorry, but I wanted to do something to it. I really like it. Just because it was so bright, I just thought it would look amazing with the um, flowers. I've just noticed what I've done. I followed this line. Wee! I followed that line. <laughs> I kind of broke it up a little bit, I guess. Oh, I'm just loving this corner here. It's just so bright. Look at that. That section just there. It's just amazing. All those colours. So, if you want to have a go with the balloon dips, like I said, make sure that maybe your paint, you've left it I don't know, six, eight hours or so until it started to thicken. And a lot of it sort of soaks into the canvas as well um, and it starts to thicken. Um, it won't work if your mix is too thin. It, it just won't. You just won't have nice shapes, shaped petals. And, and be careful not to take too much off, otherwise you'll see the canvas underneath. So there we go, a couple of little tips for you. Right, now I'm going to go <laughs> put my feet up. I've had a busy morning. Busy, busy day. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you like what I've done. If not, I'm sorry. Feel free to leave your comments underneath whether you liked it better before, whether you liked it now. Um, and I will do another marble one as well coming up because I enjoyed that. That was fun. All right. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.